guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am making over my client's pantry and as you can see i have the container store containers and way more in my trunk um so i decided you know why not document the process and take you guys along with me so if you like videos like this be sure to subscribe to my channel like this video and hit that bell notification to get notification posts in the future all right let's get into the video so here is the before of the pantry it's honestly not as bad as it looks uh, my client just needs a functional system and um, things to make her life a lot easier so you guys know I am obsessed with the container store. So all the containers used in this video are from the container store. It's just so much easier shopping at one store to get all of your containers. So now I am removing all of the food items from the pantry. As I'm removing all of the food items from the pantry, I am categorizing the food items into groups. That way I know what containers um, the food items are going to go into and maybe what containers I may need um, later on in the installation process. I am cleaning the pantry. As I've said in a previous pantry makeover video, it's important for us to clean our pantry after removing the food items only because the pantry space is not a space that we typically clean daily. Um, and so you need to just wipe down everything and make sure um, there's no food or gunk um, in your pantry. So now I am placing the empty containers from the container store into the pantry just to see what layout would be the best for my client as well as what would be the most aesthetically pleasing. Lazy Susans are not only great for condiments, but they're great for individually wrapped snacks, particularly this Lazy Susan. As you can see, it has different compartments and it's clear so you, you're able to see the snack of your choice. And it's functional and you can use this tool to really grab and go very fast if you're in a hurry. So I put all of the food items back into the containers and now I am doing the most important part of the step which is labeling. Label, label, label. I can't stress to you guys how important it is to label your items. That way you know where to put things back and your system is functional over a long period of time.
here is the before. And here is the after. I'm so excited how everything turned out. As I said, all the containers used in this video are from the container store, which I'll provide the link down below in the description box. As you can see, the white turret shelving in my client's pantry is empty. That's because she needs to go grocery shopping, but typically on this product, you can place cans, which is what she was gonna do, or you can place things like chicken broth, uh, pasta sauce, whatever you feel that is necessary that you need to see and that you buy a lot. Be sure to like this video if you like what you saw, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for future content. See you guys.